Imagine losing a tooth and instead of getting a fake one screwed into your jaw, your body just grows a new one. Sound impossible? Well, it's not. It's the future of dentistry and it's happening right now. Today we're talking about something straight out of a sci-fi movie, stem cell dental implants. Hey everyone, welcome back to Medical Miracle, the channel where we explore the most mind-blowing advancements in health and science that could change lives. If you've ever dealt with tooth decay, accidents, or just the wear and tear of life that leads to missing teeth, you know how frustrating and expensive traditional fixes can be. But stem cell technology is poised to revolutionize that. In this video, we'll break down what stem cell dental implants are, how they work, the types of stem cells involved, the latest research, the incredible benefits, and even the challenges we still face. Stick around till the end for a glimpse into what dentistry might look like by 2030. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. We drop new medical miracles every week. Let's dive in. First things first, what exactly are stem cell dental implants? Traditional dental implants, you know, those titanium posts that dentists drill into your jawbone, have been a game changer since the 1960s. They fuse with your bone over months and can last 10 to 25 years, but they're still artificial. They don't feel quite like your natural teeth, and they come with risks like infections or rejection. Stem cell dental implants flip the script. This is regenerative dentistry at its finest. Instead of prosthetics, we're using your body's own stem cells to grow new living tooth structures. We're talking real roots, dentin, that's the hard tissue under the enamel, pulp, the soft inside with nerves and blood vessels, and even surrounding bone and gums. It's like giving your mouth a biological do-over. This approach comes from tissue engineering, where scientists combine stem cells with biodegradable scaffolds, think of them as temporary frameworks, and growth factors to guide the cells into becoming tooth parts. The goal? A fully biological tooth that integrates perfectly with your body, potentially lasting a lifetime without the common issues like periimplantitis, which is inflammation around implants that affects up to 43% of cases. Millions of people worldwide lose teeth to decay, injury, or genetics, and this could be the ultimate solution. It's not just replacement, it's regeneration. All right, let's get into the nitty gritty. How does this magic happen? The process is fascinating and involves a few key steps. Step one, harvesting stem cells. These aren't embryonic stem cells. We're talking about dental specific ones that are easy to get. They come from places like the pulp inside your teeth, the ligaments around them, or even baby teeth that fall out naturally. These are mesenchymal stem cells, which are super versatile. They can multiply and turn into whatever your body needs like bone or dentin cells. Step two, integrating with a scaffold. Scientists seed these cells onto a biocompatible framework, like one made from tricalcium phosphate or hydrogels. This scaffold acts like a blueprint, giving the cells a 3D space to grow and organize into tooth-like structures. Step 3. Implantation and Growth The whole setup gets placed into the empty socket in your jaw. Over weeks to months, as little as 9 weeks in some animal studies, the cells proliferate, differentiate, and form new tissues. You might end up with a bio-root that a dentist can cap with a crown. Advanced imaging and even AI could monitor this in real time to ensure everything vascularizes, gets blood supply, and innervates, gets nerves, properly. Step 4. Monitoring and Maturation Once in place, it's all about letting your body do the work. This is way different from root canals, which devitalize teeth or standard implants that can take months to heal. It's minimally invasive, uses your own cells to avoid rejection, and could be a game-changer for anyone who's lost a tooth. To make this even more concrete, let's talk about the stars of the show, the different types of dental stem cells. These are all ateligous, meaning from your own body, which is why rejection is rare. I'll break it down in a quick table for clarity. Dental pulp stem cells, or DPSCs, from the pulp of permanent or baby teeth. They can turn into dentin pulp complexes, neurons, or bone. Great for regenerating pulp in infected teeth or repairing caries with dentin bridges. Stem cells from human exfoliated deciduous teeth or shed from baby teeth. They generate odontoblasts for dentin, adipocytes, osteoblasts, and even help with nerve guidance. Ideal for whole tooth regeneration or treating pulp issues in kids. Periodontal ligament stem cells or PDLSCs from tissues are round teeth. They form ligaments, cementum, and alveolar bone, perfect for creating bio roots or fixing gum recession. Dental apical papilla stem cells, or SCAP, from developing root tips like in wisdom teeth. They produce roots and dentin, making them great for partial implants. 
These cells are powerhouse multitaskers, and harvesting them is as simple as a routine dental visit. No ethical dilemmas here, it's all from dental waste. Now, is this all just theory? Nope. Research has been booming since the early 2000s. Let's look at some highlights. At Columbia University, they've developed scaffold techniques that guide stem cells to grow new teeth in just nine weeks, faster recovery than traditional implants. The University of Washington is creating living teeth organoids using induced pluripotent stem cells, or iPSCs, and protein design. Their 2023 study in developmental cell even made tooth models to simulate diseases, and human trials are coming soon. In animal studies, like with mini pigs, multipotent cells plus scaffolds in tooth sockets have grown soft and mineralized root tissues. As of September 2025, there are over 20 clinical trials underway for things like pulp regeneration, bone augmentation, and treating periodontitis. Results are promising, especially for jawbone repair before implants. Companies like Stem Cell Implants launched in 2023 are pushing this from lab to clinic for grafting, but full stem cell teeth aren't commercially available yet, we're in phase one and two trials focusing on safety. Hang tight, it's evolving fast. Why get excited? The benefits are huge compared to old school implants. First, natural integration. These regenerated teeth feel and function like your originals with living pulp for sensation and even self-repair. No more numb spots. Second, reduced risks. Lower chance of allergies to materials like titanium, infections, or that pesty periodontitis. Third, faster and less invasive. Healing in weeks, not months, and often no bone grafts needed. Fourth, longevity and cost, potentially permanent, saving you from replacements every decade or two, cheaper in the long run. And personalization, using iPSCs we could custom shape teeth for things like congenital defects, it's precision medicine for your mouth. Of course, no miracle is without hurdles. Challenges include fully forming complex parts like enamel, that's still tricky. Scalability for everyday clinics, regulatory approvals from bodies like the FDA, and costs could slow things down. Ethical issues are low since we're using dental stem cells, but access might be limited at first. Looking ahead, experts predict that by 2030, stem cell therapies could replace half of all implants. Imagine AI-optimized scaffolds and precision regenerative dentistry as the norm. Teams like WEUs are leading the charge. But remember, prevention is key. Brush, floss, and visit your dentist to avoid needing this in the first place. So there you have it, folks. Stem cell dental implants could be the future that makes tooth loss obsolete. From regeneration basics to cutting-edge trials, this is a medical miracle in the making. What do you think? Would you try a stem cell tooth? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more breakthroughs, and share with someone who hates the dentist. Check out our playlist on regenerative medicine for more. Thanks for watching Medical Miracle. See you next time.